What's up guys, this is my prediction game video for Kid Cash vs Hernandez. A match you're gonna see this Sunday at TNA Slammiversary. A much hyped up match, a much, you know, built up match. A match that, you know, we've been looking forward to for a long time. And really, they've been really building this up, you know, building these two guys up for this huge feud. And uh, seems like they're gonna end it at TNA Slammiversary. Just top off the feud with, you know, one last match at one of their biggest shows of the year. Their biggest show of the summer, it's going to be Kid Cash versus Hernandez. I can't freaking wait. Wait, what? Oh, so you're telling me there's no feud between the two? That doesn't make any sense. It, it really doesn't. I mean, come on. Kid Cash, Hernandez. The match just comes out of nowhere. It, it blows my mind. Like, why did they make this matchup? It, it makes no sense. And what makes even less sense is, you know, this match... We all know it's not going to last a long time, it's going to last like less than 10 minutes. And I've said this in the official prediction game video, why not use that time and add it to another matchup. Give the Kurt Angle and AJ Styles tag team match more time. Give the World Heavyweight Championship more time, or the 3 way match for the number one contendership more time. Just don't use that, just don't use this for the Devon and Garrett Bischoff match if you're going to do that. But obviously with this match on the card, looks like they're not going to do that. So yeah, uh, just, uh, what can I say, man? You've got Kid Cash. We haven't seen him in a long time. The last I remember of Kid Cash in TNA was his matchup with Austin Aries uh, at a pay-per-view for the X Division Championship. That was an enter entertaining match. I like that match. You know, both were playing the heels. Austin Aries was still a heel uh, at that time. Kid Cash, well, he just joined TNA as a heel. And, uh, yeah, it was just a fun match, you know, to watch. Two heels, and they were both trying to outdo each other with heel maneuvers, trying to cheat. It, it was a fun match to watch. Uh, I don't know what happened afterwards. I don't know if he got injured, or maybe... I don't know. Yeah, we just didn't see him on TV for a while. As far as Hernandez goes, last I saw him, he was in uh, our Anarchia's corner when he was facing Kurt Angle and then he just went off TV for a long time. I guess now they just decided to bring both these guys back at the same time at the biggest pay-per-view of the year. I don't know why, maybe they're not actually gonna have this match, maybe this is leading up to something, maybe, I don't know, uh, somebody's gonna beat both these guys up and they're not gonna have a match. It's just, it's confusing to me. Uh, you know, TNA does, lately has been doing a lot of good, but at the same time, they still do, you know, <laughs> some weird things like this. Just matches that come out of nowhere, not much build to the matchup, this matchup, no build at all. So it's just weird to me. Uh, like I said in the official prediction game video, this is like the most random matchup ever out of pay-per-view. And uh, I don't know how I just got up right after he hit the freaking uh, finisher there. Uh, I forgot what, what, what Hernandez's finisher was called. Damn. Uh, oh, yeah, the board with toss. I don't know how I just got up right after that. Anyways, uh, my pick for this match, I guess, is Kid Cash. But really, any of these two guys could win. How could you really, you know, know who's going to win this when, you know, we haven't seen these guys in a long time? We don't know. You know, neither of these two guys have been pushed. It, it's just hard to predict, but I guess I'm going to go with Kid Cash. Because, you know, it doesn't. It seems like they lost all hope in Hernandez, and I said this in the Bobby Roode versus Sting video as well. Also, what if this match was the main event? <laughs> what if they actually, if Sting versus Roode is not actually the main event, and this this is the main event? They put like Sting and Roode in the middle of the show or the first match, and the last match is Kid Cash versus Hernandez, the long-awaited match. What if, you know, it's, it's, it ends up being a match of the year candidates? I don't know. Anyways, uh, yeah, they're not going to do that. They're not going to put this in a main event. At least I hope not. They shouldn't. Well, really, I, I don't think they will. Anyways, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's that's all I got to say really for this match. Uh, most random match ever. That really sums it up. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, you can click that like button. It really helps me out. And while you're at it, Leave a comment and uh, tell me which match you're looking forward to the most for TNA Slammiversary. Maybe some of you are looking forward to this match. Maybe you were anticipating this match or looking forward to it for a long time, hoping it will happen. Me, personally, I'm looking forward to Austin Aries versus Samoja. With that said, I'm out. See ya.